First up, it's wine o'clock. Red or white? Red. But these days, we're hearing this sound less and less. Why have we seen the humble cork disappearing? I kept hearing about this whole corked thing. You know, once the wine is corked, it's ruined. Oh, you can taste if it's been corked. Something from the cork leaches into the wine. What's it taste like if it's corked? Not very nice. No? It's quite acidic. Right. It's like yeah. it's gone off. What would cause it to go off? Air in it. Right. So what does make wine corked? Is it too much oxygen, or is there something else going on? I don't think this is corked. That's quite nice. Cheers. Cheers. One criticism with cork is that it can lead to wine being corked. It can, but we have found a solution to that. I'll show you. In Europe alone, it's estimated that 700 million euros of wine are lost every year to tainted cork. Whoa, look at this. You don't imagine this in cork production. Incredible. No, but this is where uh, we're heading to. And yeah. what we're heading to is the implementation of technology. Carlos's new sniffer robots are able to detect a single molecule of the compound that causes corking. So all this equipment here, all this high tech is all about analysis to try and combat the problem of when wine becomes corked. The problem of corking starts with chlorine. Chlorine was traditionally used everywhere in the cork industry. Chlorine molecules can be in the pesticides used in the cork forests to the liquids used to sterilize the factory. So why does wine become cork? Is it oxygen or is it CO2? What is it? It's created by a molecule. It has a rather complex name. It's 246-trichloroanisole. We call it TCA. This rather nasty-sounding chemical is released by a natural fungus, sometimes found in cork bark. If the fungus accidentally comes into contact with chlorine, a reaction produces TCA, and it only takes a few molecules of TCA to ruin the flavour of wine. So what these machines have to do is to go and look for something as small as one drop of water in 800 Olympic-sized swimming pools where a molecule of TCA can be present. If it founds it, automatically removes it from the production line. So it's quite a complex machine, but a fundamental machine to secure a future for cork. So the molecule that leads to corking has been virtually impossible to detect until now which has got to be good news for us wine drinkers. And that sound of the cork. Very iconic, oh, isn't it? Amazing. When we open a bottle uh, that has been there for 10, 12, 15, 100 years, mm. that magical moment happens, and it's because the cork has done it, uh, its job. Well, look, are we going to have some wine? I hope so. Cork has been used to seal wine for centuries, and thanks to new advances in technology, it looks like it will be doing so long into the future. Well, up here is to the cork oak. Cheers. Cheers. So don't throw away your corkscrews just yet. Oh, that is delicious.